Koh Samui is known for its beautiful landscapes and vibrant nightlife. With an upwards of 3 million people visiting the island every year, you could say that people have most likely discovered every part of this island. This is a lot! With so many things to do and see, we're out to show you some of the best things you can do on your trip to one of Thailand's most popular islands. One of the first things on our list is to visit a night market where there is tons of amazing food and cool clothes and trinkets you can buy. Markets are super popular all over Thailand, but we love them so much we needed to add one in to make sure you don't miss it. All right, we have left our resort and we have headed to the north side of the island where we just made it to Chawang Night Market and are gonna try some super yummy food. So this is one of the top night markets in Koh Samui and if you've seen all of our other videos you know that we love coming to street markets and eating food. So I am starting my night off with two chicken wings and it was 25 baht for the both of these. Let's see. As always, it's really good. I got sweet chili and that's one of my favorite flavors while we've been here. But the chicken is crispy has a lot of flavor and the sweet chili sauce is really good. So I just got two different things. We'll start with this one. This, oh gosh, it's a hole in the bag. Oh no. Oh no, it's dripping now. All right, this is a pork dumpling. We've had pork dumplings a lot and I actually really love them. For both this and our steamed bun, it was 35 baht, so super affordable, but... Ooh, that sweet chili sauce is spicy. Way spicier than normal. <clears throat> and then we have this Chinese bun that is supposed to be filled with cream. So, let's see. Mm. It's filled with almost like a cookie dough batter consistency item <laughs> and it's super good it tastes like a vanilla cake pretty much it's super yummy and super cheap that's why we love food markets all right my next item is sushi i absolutely love the sushi at all of the street markets in thailand or the night markets in thailand it's so cheap it's five baht per piece for like the basic stuff and then 10 baht a piece for the more like special sushi. So 25 baht for four pieces. You can never find that price in America. And it is so good. Cheers. So I just ordered a, not quite sure what they call it, but they take a potato and they kind of like cut it up and it makes it all swirled and put it on a skewer and then douse it in a different, few different kinds of powder. It is so good, it's so fluffy. It's one of our favorite things that we've had at a night market yet. And it's something that you have to try if you come to Thailand because it's seriously so amazing. And it only costs 50 baht for one of them, so insane. the night market and we are gonna head like five minutes up the road to a bar that is on the beach and we're gonna go and see uh, supposedly what is a pretty epic fire show if you're looking for something to do on a budget fire shows are so cool and the best part is that you typically only need to buy a drink at the bar in order to watch this is seriously an awesome experience and is nearly free so why not go We have just made it to Ark Bar, which is on one of the most popular beaches here in Koh Samui, Cha Wang Beach. And it sounds like it's a party in here, but we are going to see the fire show and get some drinks, so let's show you. So right now they just have small little fire acts going, but every once in a while throughout the night, they have a big one out on the big stage that's in the water. So we're gonna wait around to see the big one.
We are sitting here waiting for the fire show and a guy walking around with a lizard just sets them on your arm. So yeah, those are a must see when you come to Kosamui. They happen at multiple bars across the beaches throughout all of Kosamui, I believe. And it's pretty cool too because they get the crowd involved. So they'll pull people from the crowd and they'll fling the fireballs in front of their faces. And it's pretty cool. It's really hot too when it's right in front of your face. It is crazy, but something you have to do. Yes. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. It's a new day. We're about to hop on our motorbike, leave our cute little tranquil resort, and head about 13 minutes to a famous beach that is here in Kosamui. Safety first! Cause I found my way. to Lamai Beach, which is located on the southeast side of Koh Samui, and we are going to see a very popular attraction called Grandfather and Grandmother Rocks, and they have some pretty peculiar shapes. We'll show you. We are on the rocks, and I think I found a good spot to lay over here. I'm going to go chill out for a minute. windy up here but these rocks really do remind you of the Seychelles which are right off the coast of Africa they're so beautiful and that is such a bucket list place for us to go and it's really cool to kind of see natural things that are just like that here but we are not able to access the beach from here so we do have to drive just like a one minute drive over to where the beach is all right we're leaving it looks like it's about to storm so we are trying to get to the beach before it starts raining and thunderstorming at us. I can barely see. We did not make it to the beach. Just about a one minute scooter ride away from our resort is the parking lot and the start to the trail that leads to a waterfall called Na Miwang 2. There are two of these waterfalls. One is on the actual property that our resort is on and the second one is about a one minute scooter ride away and this waterfall supposedly has one of the best views of all of Koh Samui so we're super excited. So we just walked into the entrance of Nam Wang 2 and it's a little more commercialized than we thought it was going to be. We had to pay 50 baht a person to get in, which is pretty cheap, but there's a couple of restaurants and there's even like a little water slide into one of the pools here. So they, we read on blog 
dog said, if you're not sure if you're going the right way, find the rope. And if you're following the rope, you should be going the right way. But if we are climbing where there was like that big sign that said no climbing, and I think that sign is there because unfortunately in the past, many tourists have died from falling off the top of these falls because they were trying to take selfies. The most recent actually happened only a few days ago. So um, just make sure you're safe when you're doing something like this. Don't go on the edges. Don't try to take selfies. So. It is absolutely gorgeous up here. Just look at it. One of the absolute best parts of this entire waterfall is this little pool that you can sit in and you can just sit, relax, it's only about waist deep and it has one of the most spectacular views ever. It's, this waterfall in general is an absolute must if you're coming to Costa Mui. It is really, really awesome. And that is all for our best of Costa Mui. Costa Mui is an absolutely beautiful island that you need to come and visit. And we hope any of these little activities that we did help you plan a little bit of your own. Yes, so enjoy your vacation on Costa Mui. See ya.